No! That. I'm dead. I was not ready for that. All of these are so bad. I am so sorry. Hello. Uh, hey guys, it's Billy and Asa. Hey, multiple puppies. And there's lots of puppies popping <laughs> in here. I asked on Instagram for y'all's first date embarrassing stories. Ooh. And boy, did you guys deliver. I haven't seen any of these. Also, if you feel like you watch these videos and never get to participate, we ask for these things like on my Instagram, so you can just go on there and follow and then you'll eventually see them pop up on Instagram stories. Totally. So I'm gonna read some of these with Asa and just get genuine reactions. Okay. Watch out, Willow. Well, okay, first date was age 17. Knew this guy from when I was about 15, but I, he was the annoying kid at my dad's work. He was the only guy there my age. Bumped into him about a year or two after, we hit it off, and he asked me out on a date. Traditional cinema and underage drinking in the park. Anyway, one thing leads to another. We end up at his house, and you already know what happened. Then we fell asleep until the next morning when his mom burst in to his room, and we were both naked. She goes mental because he has a girl in his room, let alone the fact that something happened in her house. He kicks me out without any clothes on, I have to ran up, run out the back door and hurdle over the back garden fence into a community vegetable garden. I end up running up into this place completely naked. That sounds like a, a movie. <laughs> you you can't make that stuff up. I mean, what? Give the girl like a, a sheet get, or a towel. Get her clothes on. I mean, what? My favorite is that she just like jumps over the fence like butt naked. And just like ends up in a garden. Like she's just like, bye, I'm out of here. Okay, here's another one. I went with this guy, I really liked him. I was not too sure if he liked me back, but we were sitting next to each other just talking and then all of a sudden he sneezes. I say bless you, thinking nothing of it. Then right after that, he looks at my arm with bulging eyes, which made me super confused. So I look down at my arm too. Right on my arm is a massive booger. Oh. Keep in mind, I was wearing long sleeves, so I couldn't feel it. He just reaches over and casually flicks it off with his finger. After that, all that happened, I just stood up and walked away, LMAO. I tried to avoid him at all costs after that because I felt so embarrassed for him. Plus it was nasty, so I didn't know how to react. To answer your question, I think I lost feelings after that incident. <laughs> her, her, one of her biggest like fears is sneezes. No, like, well, not they're fears. just gross. Yeah. It's just like an embarrassing, awkward, I think that's just embarrassing, like, I been all like, around. I'd have been like, the whole situation is like, okay, here's another <laughs> one. After months, a guy I really, really, really liked finally asked me to go on a date. I got my hair and nails done professionally. My friend did my makeup, and I wore a super, I wore a super fancy date outfit. I was so excited. Anyway, I went on a date and had loads of fun, but we got to dessert, and he started asking me about my best friend. Ten minutes later, I found out that the only reason he ended up taking me on a date was because he wanted to know what my best friend liked so he could impress her. Two years later, they got married, and in a few months, I'm the maid of honor, and now we all laugh about. It. Oh. But at least it's say. like, at least like everyone is like friendly now. Yeah, like she could have held a grudge on that. I've heard stories where people go on dates with people just to get info on their bestie, but like it's kind Here's of a, yeah, so don't, rude. Don't call it a date. Phrase it as something else. Big yikes. He came out of town with his mom. Since he was in town, we planned to go to dinner. I thought it would just be the two of us, but he showed up to dinner with his mom. <laughs> <laughs> Were they, were y'all 14? Or were you like He's 19? Like, that might make sense if she was driving. Yeah, like. Still, that's still so weird. I went on plenty of dates with parents. Maybe you were dating Asa back then. Maybe it was Asa that showed up with a small <laughs> just, dinner. Just, just <laughs> wait until you have a car, until you start dating. Okay, here's another one. My first date with this very cute tall guy. We were 18, I was in high school. He was in his first year of college. We decided to go rock climbing and then to a cookhouse afterwards. The date was going very well. Yes, we went to dinner all sweaty and gross from rock climbing, but who cares? After dinner, we go back to his place and things start to heat up. We end up getting together. And when we were done, I looked down and there was blood everywhere. I had started my period in the middle of all that time. And I was really embarrassed. He was so cool about it. We ended up rinsing off together and acted like it didn't happen. Fast forward five and a half years later, we're married. And kids oh. are, are the happiest we can be. That's a, hey, that's a good story. That's tough. On the first date, that's, that's, that's tough. tough. Yeah. And not only was it not, it wasn't like you started your period like in uh sitting at dinner yeah it was like in an intimate moment mm -hmm. which is like that's pretty brutal with mm -hmm. someone that you're not familiar with that's but hey the guy, the guy played it cool and at least y'all are happy now yeah things that's all that matters congratulations really. not sure if this counts 
but I went out with a guy and we seemed to have a great time and he asked me to go out again. The next day I went on Instagram and the first post on my feed was an announcement that he had just gotten engaged to his pregnant girlfriend. Needless to say, I never spoke to him again. <laughs> What? <laughs> that number one, we shouldn't even be laughing because that is That's awful. horrible. Don't do that. That's horrible. I hope that whoever this person is told that pregnant girlfriend he was casually going on dates yes. the day before he proposed to her. That girlfriend should have known. Ugh. I hope they're like not married now. That sucks. Because that is unfortunate. That's okay, so I went to the movies with a guy and it was super casual. I was wearing a t-shirt and a cute zip-up jacket, the style of jacket that's kind of distressed with little holes in it. I like to keep to myself with physical touch and I'm not, one, it's not one of my love language when I'm first getting to know somebody. This boy fully laid his head on my shoulder and started playing with the holes in my jacket and was caressing my elbow through the holes. Ew. It gets better. I literally got so scared and uncomfy. I I got up and went to the bathroom. I was talking to my sister about what to do. We came up with a plan which was, I ended up texting him from the movie theater bathroom saying, hey, I don't think this is gonna work out. I don't like that you were playing with the holes in my shirt. He responded on text message saying, I'm so sorry, do you want me to leave? I responded and said, yes, I think that would be best. We waited for him to leave the theater and we went back inside and finished the movie. <laughs> Cut to the end of the movie. Me and my sister are walking out of the building and we literally see him waiting for his ride to pick him up. This man waited almost two hours to wait for his ride to pick him up from the movie theater watching a movie he didn't even end up seeing. At least he was respectful yeah, enough at to actually leave. Like, number one, he should not have been touching you without permission, but at least he left. She and got didn't go back yeah. inside. At least she got to watch the movie. You got to enjoy the rest of the movie. Mm -hmm. So I gotta give him a little bit of kudos for at least leaving and respecting that you asked him to do that and not going back inside and he just sat outside. Listen, sometimes <laughs> all you have to do is speak up and then you get a, you get to keep watching your movie. So my story is too long to fit in that box, but in context, it was freshman year and neither of us had been on in a real relationship, so it was a little awkward, but it is what it is. We walked to his house after school because it was close and he wanted to drop his stuff off before where we went to a basketball game together. But his mom came home early and he didn't want her to see me. So he pushed me into the bushes, one of those prickly ones, and left me there for several minutes. What? <laughs> then he came back and tried to help me up but accidentally ripped my shirt clean down the front. It was so embarrassing, I cried. He gave me one of his sweatshirts. We ended up going to the basketball game, but he wanted his sweatshirt back before I left. So I had to explain to my mom why my shirt was ripped and said he wasn't into me anymore. This dude. I mean, just literally like, what? He caused his own problems. First of all, what kind of shirt were you wearing that could have easily been thorn. so ripped down the center? Like you're pulling like a, a Hulk smash up in here. <laughs> And then the fact that he didn't just let you wear the sweatshirt home. Yeah. He had to have just it back. Like, Hello, you're like basically naked. Like let her wear I mean, the freaking sweatshirt. Y'all go to the same high school, just bring this the sweatshirt tomorrow. <laughs> that one, that's rough. Here's another one. So we were laying down with our legs intertwined and he moved his knee, accidentally pushed down on my knee and dislocated it. We were in the middle of an abandoned golf course. He tried to carry me out and I passed out in shock. So we had to get oh the my. EMTs to come. Oh Ended up going to the emergency emergency room and needing two knee surgeries. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm sure that, honestly, that's less embarrassing for you yeah. and more embarrassing for him. Totally, totally like, more embarrassing for him. He probably friends. tells all his friends like, oh yeah, one time like, I actually dislocated this girl's knee when we were on a date. I mean, what's the moral of the story there? Don't, Don't go to a very- Don't go to golf car, golf courses and snuggle? That's like more random than getting hit by lightning. I mean, literally what? What the heck? Crazy. I was sitting on my couch waiting for my date to pick me up and I felt a fart coming on. I let the fart out and it turns out it was way more than Ooh. just a fart. I pooped my pants I've been and, there. <laughs> and got, up, got some on the couch. 15 minutes before he showed up, turned out I had food poisoning. I managed to clean myself up, but I was clenching the whole day. Oh, I didn't cool. feel the full effects of food poisoning until I got home. Lucky, <laughs> At least it lucky, was 15 minutes lucky. before the date. Most of these date stories are I not have, so I have been in other scenarios where I can't wait until 15 minutes He's after. He's pooped his pants before. Poor A. I know. Like literally like a month ago. <laughs> no! Like a year. I somehow can like poke myself in your shoes and feel that like clench The clench. Level. The cl the, it's a life clench. If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> One of my first dates, my boyfriend at the time said he had to go to the restroom. So I dropped him off at the nearest Walmart and was waiting, going to wait in the car. I get a text from him saying that he pooped his pants immediately after he got out of my car. <laughs> 
I had to walk into Walmart, buy sweatpants, rip the tag off, run into the men's bathroom where he is and give them to him. He was mortified, I was mortified. He threw away all of his bottoms, clothes, bottoms, and just wore the sweatpants out of Walmart. I drove him home. It was extremely awkward. Yeah, that's pretty bad. At least he was your boyfriend. Well, the worst part is he's like walking through the parking lot in a constant stream of poop until he just gets inside. <laughs> this one's so bad. Okay. Mortifying. I'm ready. So I went on this date with this guy at a Mexican restaurant and right off the bat it was bad because he was late. We got a table and most Mexican restaurants give chips and salsa when you sit down, right? Well, the waitress was new and accidentally spilled salsa all over me. So that was bad, but I persevered. This guy was so boring. I understand nerves, but he would only give me one word answers and would ask me no questions. So the conversation was very one-sided. The date was going terrible. So I texted my friend, call me with a fake emergency. This date is terrible, 911. But I accidentally sent that text to him. No! And he yelled at me in front of everyone at the restaurant. So now I was leaving the restaurant with a stained salsa dress and everyone thought I was a terrible person. I never went back. Oh, that. I'm dead. I was not ready for that. Oh my gosh. I have been in those scenarios where I've like screenshotted somebody's messages or something and, and accidentally I've it never to made them. that mistake. And you just, you just, like the true epitome of how awful you are as a person really hits you in oh. that moment. Here's the thing I don't get. You sent that accidentally to him, whatever. Why did he yell at you? Yeah, like if you what? said it was a bad date and I got a text like that, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. If you want to leave, you can. But this guy yelled at you? That, like, that's boy, horrible. Please, that's horrible. Bye. See ya. Bye. Oh, that one got me. <laughs> that That's one got so me. bad. My friend set me up um, with one of his friends. We ended up going on a walk at night through a pretty park and eventually sat down on this bench. It was super nice, super cute, and then he asks me, so you want to do something more And I thought he was joking, so I sarcastically was like, oh yeah, totally. And he was like, so let's do it. And I was like, what? No, I didn't mean it. The date ended and I went home and he texted me saying, I'm so sorry when blank friend set us up. He said that you'd be down to do that stuff. Mm -hmm. I never gave any sort of indication or anything that that would even remotely make someone think that I was down for that stuff. So yeah, I was essentially pimped out for my first date. Yeah, that's, that, that sucks. Is, that's not even funny. Bad, that is just like friend. so awful. Bad friend. Screw that person, whoever that person was that said that. Screw them. Bad friend. Hope you never talk to that person yeah, again. Yeah, never talk to him again. Boo. First of all, we went on a double date at this awful Mexican restaurant, so I got a kid's quesadilla. He got a five course meal, and when he got the bill back, he announced that he could not afford to pay for it. Oh, come on. So I paid for my food, and the couple that was with us us paid for his. Then we went dancing and he wouldn't dance with me so we just stood there the whole night in silence before he dropped me off. When he dropped me off he asked me to be his designated driver for the next weekend because he knew I wouldn't drink and he wanted to go drinking with other girls. Get out of there. Never talk to him again. Block his number. Hold, hold the ball. You mean to tell me he didn't pay for his own food and then asks you to be his DD so he can go just get drunk with other females on your date with him? Who are these dudes? I don't think you're ready for That's this That's for last. I died. I have a tampon story. My bikini bottoms were white, so he thought the thread of my bikini was hanging out. So he tells me, oh, let me just get this string for you. And before I could confirm it or deny, he full force yanks my tampon out. No. It felt like my insides were torn out and he was mortified. I never saw him again. Oh no. appropriate for him to yank a string that is in this area of your body. Like that is just not appropriate oh, at all I unless mean, you are on, he, in that comfort he, zone. He probably just wasn't even thinking because I'd be like, oh, here's a string, let me just get no, it. No, but not, like, it would, it would have had to literally been yes, that was right the, here. Like he would he would have had to been comfortable essentially touching you in that area to pull that string yeah. out. Unless it was just like the world's oh. longest tampon string. <laughs> all of these are so bad. Like y'all, I am so sorry. I'm sorry guys. Uh, you all need a redo. Here's one. My best friend forever and his best friend forever. So my BFF, his BFF. We're dating. So they set up the two of us up and we went on a double date. He was running late. So I rode with the other couple.
couple. We ended up grabbing dinner and went bowling. He left in the middle of the game. Then the couple and I went to grab coffee after and I ran into him on another date. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he dated that other girl for a couple years. So good for him, but I guess rip, rip for me. Yikes. Disrespectful. So was he already with this other girl at the coffee shop and lied to her to go bowling for like 15 minutes? Like why? Just, just say, don't go on the just date. Just say, hey, I got a date. There were a few shorter ones that were really funny. Okay. So one of them was the guy I went on a date with got my mom's number and texted her during the date that I wasn't talking enough. I mean, why? So then you get a text from your mom that says talk more on your date. How off-putting would that be? So off-putting. This one got me just by the way it was worded. He was creepy, period. I was wearing wedges to look cute, period. To attempt to leap fast, I severely sprained ankle. <laughs> I burped right after he kissed me. He looked horrified. Asa had that happen. On my very first kiss, it was my first girlfriend ever. Uh, immediately after we kissed, she farted because she was so nervous. I'll never forget that. <laughs> I will tell you my most embarrassing first date story just to round this whole thing out. I had never been on a date before and I had these people that we were in our neighborhood, went to church with, and they had never that was dating someone that they really didn't like and all of them were like go on a date with him Show him what a nice girl is like. I wasn't really comfortable going on a date with someone who was dating somebody Actively else. Actively had a girlfriend. When all of these adults are telling you essentially like you don't have choice You have to go on a date with him and including my parents you just do and so I was like, okay Like whatever it'll be casual. Maybe it'll just be more like hanging out So we end up going on a double date with him me his best friend and Brooklyn and we go Start the day off at Panera, we're like eating. It didn't really feel like a date. I look to my right and I see his girlfriend out staring inside the window of the Panera. The girlfriend's here. What am I gonna do? I didn't even want to be on this date. Nice. This girlfriend comes in and like sits down across from us and I, I bring it up to him like, like, do you know that girl? And he was like, no, I have no idea who oh that is. God. And so he's totally lying about his current girlfriend, which is like red flag. And she's but like five feet away. She's like literally right there at the table and I'm like, Oh my gosh. I'm like nudging Brooklyn. I'm like, we gotta get out of here. This is awful. Needless to say, actually, though, he did end up uh, breaking it off. And I think now he's married. Oh, good. If you're that girl, I'm so sorry. I was way too young to understand what was happening. <laughs> that is probably one of my most embarrassing first dates. That's stories. pretty bad. <laughs> I do remember our first date. He was we were so still friends. We weren't dating yet. He but... was so nervous. We get on this date, and I think he says a total of like three words to me the entire date. So we're sitting in silence, or I'm just like, let my way through the date. There was like six other people and at the time I was super socially awkward so I didn't feel comfortable being myself in front of these six other people that I never even met. But to me, I walked away from that date and I was like, I'm never going on a date with that guy again. Like, <laughs> worst date stories are awful to relive. It's so fun to laugh at. Totally. Hopefully this just gave you a good laugh for, you know, love month, enjoying this time. And comment down below if you have any other embarrassing first date stories you want us to hear about. And or if you like this confessions video and we will do it again. We will totally do it again. Bye guys. Bye. See ya.